today I am making beef curry using my homemade curry powder and the curry powders that I have made uh, last time posted already I'm gonna I'm also gonna add the link for you guys down below in the description box so you guys can check this out if you haven't seen the video yet so um I'm frying potatoes right now so I'm using pressure cooker and I have some oil and I'm gonna fry these potatoes that I have cut into chunk like that don't cut it too small if you're using pressure cooker your potato will end up into smart potatoes has a slightly color and now remove onto a plate with the same oil I'm gonna add the beef chunk you can use lamb if you don't eat beef. Add salt and black pepper. And uh, without closing the pressure cooker, I'm just gonna let the beef cook like that until all the water dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna go blend this onion. I roughly chop them. And this is what we are looking for. All the water dry. Add a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste and the onion that I have blended to taste. Give it a good stir. That's the goodness here, my homemade curry powder. Curry powder is all purpose. You can use it for everything, fish, meat, and chicken. Now, since I like it spicy, optional, I'm gonna add some hot chili powder. Now I'm gonna add some water about a cup and uh, if you're cooking this in a regular pot then you, you may add more water to let it cook until the meat gets tender since this is a pressure cooker it's gonna cook so fast in probably 20 minutes maybe your beef gonna be ready since i didn't cut it too uh, big now i'm not gonna add the potato right now i'm just gonna cover the lid and then let it whistle for this pressure cooker does not whistle so i'm gonna give it about 10 minutes now let's open the pressure cooker and then let's see how our beef curry is looking like you can also take a piece of meat and then uh, just try with your spoon to see if the meat is the meat is like is looking soft over here almost done it's not done completely now i'm gonna add the fried potatoes and then give it a mix and i'm gonna add some water just a little bit at this time like quarter cup okay give it a stir and then I'm gonna cover back and let it cook over medium high heat again for another eight minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna open, open the pressure cooker once again. And, and now our beef curry, beef and potato curry is completely ready. And I run out of chopped coriander, of coriander, fresh coriander, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some kasuri methi actually i'm going to add a little bit of more and you're going to give this a good mix if you have fresh coriander just chop them and add to the curry to the beef curry hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time in another great recipe Bye-bye.